to my channel once again. Today I'm going to show you what my husband gifted me for Christmas. This is a wherever stainless steel cookware set, a 10 piece set. Um, to the back here, bear with me, I keep my hands sturdy. This is a small, this is the medium size, what you call it, saucepan with a cover. To the back here, this is the um, Dutch oven oven pot with cover this cover fits also fits the skillet and across here I have the colander with the serving spoon one uh, regular like for sauces and stuff and the other one is like for pasta rice that's in respect to the spoon and they're sitting in the um, skillet and to the, to the back here I have a small saucepan. I haven't used this one yet because I guess it's quite small. And in addition to the pot set, he also gifted me a, a brand new stove. This is a whirlpool stove, baby. <laughs> so you know your girl cooking up a storm. So my task um, with these new this new pot set is to keep them clean. My goal is of to like try and keep them nice and shiny. Let me just show you inside of this one it's nice and shiny I've already used it and um, it's nice nice and shiny so the rest of this video is basically showing you what I've been doing um, to get them clean and so forth and to maintain the shine here's my frying pan I try to clean it and I just can't get this gunk off I was making some I was frying some lentil piece patties and um, the pot burn up and this is my new stainless steel frying pan um, I tried um, leaving the baking soda in, my, in a, like a little paste for a little while for a few hours but it's still not coming off so I'm going to try this other tip I'm going to just um, the apply some of the baking powder generous amount I'm going to put some water it's about almost what one and a half cups of water and the tip is to put this to boil so I'm going to put on my fire maybe on medium type at medium and let this boil Okay, I left it for about 10 minutes for the liquid, the mixture to boil. I'm going to let the pot cool and then I'm going to wash it out and see if there's any difference. Okay, this tip really worked. I had to, I washed it up with some soap water and I applied a little what you call elbow grease to take off the excess, um, whatever you call it, stains, burns. But I still have some little spots here that I want to get off, some hair, and then to I still have, I noticed that the scrub I'm using maybe is scratching up my surface. Let me show you what I'm using. I'm using this. I think this may be scratching up my pot a bit. I'm seeing some like, you know, scratches, and I still find it's not shiny. This area here, um, like it has a little dull surface. I want to work on that too as well. This spot, this is like a saucepan. Again, I'm noticing it has some scratches as well, and the surface it looks a little dull. So I want to work on that to see if I can get that um, sorted I have myself out. Myself a can of Barkeeper's Friend cleanser and polisher cleans where others fail. All right, stainless steel porcelain ceramic copper brass fiberglass wow what's that korean korean chrome aluminum wow this thing is a boss man the largest pot okay. of my new pot set right and if you see in the center here 
there's no shine it I, I don't know what's going on there so I'm going to try I'm going to apply some of the barman's friend and see if I get this back to brand new so I think what I'm going to apply a little water to the pot and then let me see if I get you to my sink to see if I get this I have a small bit of water so the pot just down the pot the back is fine it's just the inside that I want to get sorted out so a small bit of water in my pot I'm going to apply some of the Barman Keeper Barman's Keeper's Friend if that's the proper way okay, let me use the sponge this time I'm going to use the soft spot of my scrubber Then I'm going to wait for like a few minutes and wash it off and see if it just works. If I get the shell I'm looking for. Ten, ten minutes has passed. So let's see, wash out the barkeeper's friend. Shine, what I will do, I'll let this dry and see. Um, as is a new pot, let me see um, if it maintains your shine after it has fully dried. Looking good so far. This is one of my old iron pots that I like to buy. We call them iron pots in Trinidad. Well, you see the back of it. I apply some of the um, barman's barkeeper's friend, yeah, to the back and to the inside as well. I'm seeing a difference to the inside. You can see like the inside kind of like running off a bit. So I'm gonna wash it off to see. I let this was on for like about 50 minutes already. So let's wash it off. See that huge difference in the pot already. What it was. I'll have to do another one from start to end so you can see for yourself. I don't know if this gum to the back will come up. It makes me it may need a few applications to get this totally come off. This is this is basically from constant use. This is not like grease and stuff, it's constant use of the pot and it gets like this after a while. But I'm seeing a difference on the inside. Here is my pot is nice and dry and I'm totally happy with it. It's nice and shiny. The stain that was there before is no longer there. So I'm totally, totally happy with this product.